2020 vision. That was the cliche slogan for the year, and that's really what it started off with. Vision to grow this God-given dream into what I aspire for it to be, what God has called it to be. Vision to make goals, to set milestones, revisit my vision board, reach those milestones, put on there exactly what I envisioned for I Am Threads within the year. Social media to grow organically, to build relationships with our Threads babes, to make connections, to accomplish organic reach, to continue being grateful, being thankful, and just pushing on. It was supposed to be all about continuing to attend pop-up shops, collaborating with other individuals, collaborating with other businesses, and most of all, being financially stable, being financially responsible, and being financially aligned with my goals. Twenty twenty started off that way, checking off some of those goals, being consistent and striving and doing the best that I could for I Am Threads and I felt that I was starting off right. And then something I always remember grandma saying is when we make plans, God laughs and that really, really hit different this year. Next speaker owns a beautiful clothing line called I Am Threads and is very purposeful in everything that she does. I just love it. So we're gonna just hear about her journey and all that she does. So can we please just give a round of applause for her please? everyone. More than 3 billion people in almost 70 countries and territories have been asked to stay at home. Mysterious new virus. Coronavirus. The first U.S. case has been detected. I have today declared that the coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. While health and safety are the priority, it's unclear how much keeping students home will slow the spread of the virus. Major League Baseball now delaying the start of its season by at least two weeks. Crews working around the clock to get a handle on some of the largest fires in state history. On street dining area opened last night. The city has closed off curbside lanes along parts of Colorado Boulevard to let restaurants expand their seating capacity. For many, young and old, 2020 will be the toughest year of our lives. If that last part isn't true, I don't know what is. Personally speaking, 2020 was definitely a very tough year, but although it was so tough, I am also very grateful for it because I've learned through it and I feel like I have grown through it. Naturally, surviving a pandemic was not on my goal list. It was not on my to-do list. We're doing a little, a little vlog today because it's quarantine life. Today is April 14th. Can you guys see that? The world is like in a crazy place right now. We have to wear masks, which is why Jay has this going on right now. And I just use a little scarf and then I just like put it over. Well, not like that, but you know, it'd be like this. So what we're doing today is I'm just gonna show you like a little bit of the madness and how crazy it is and like the new type of normal that you kind of see when you go into these shops. Like for example, today we're going into Target just to buy some essentials. We really needed toothpaste and like um, toilet paper, which on the topic of toilet paper, it's crazy because at the beginning of this whole like pandemic, you literally couldn't find like any toilet paper. So we're gonna see it's been like what, three, four weeks in. So I'll see you guys in there. They have dude wipes for Jay. Wow. Come on, dude. Paper towels, napkins, all that is still gone. This is I Am Thread's favorite song. It's a theme song. Shout out Letty. This is something that 
was unforeseen and just like many other people I had to act quick and I just had to keep it pushing and that's exactly what I did now I have to be completely honest although I may not have brought in threads consistently I am still very 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 proud of myself and I am saying that in the most humble way and the reason why I'm saying I'm so proud of myself is because these were times that no one could there have foreseen. There was time to prove that we are essential as a church. Boy. Running a business during a pandemic, I had to learn how to run my business without foot traffic and solely relying off of website orders and social media orders as well and social distancing, all of these things that were different. Initially, we thought, okay, in May, it might be over. It seems like everything will be fine. And it didn't end up happening that way. What I mainly had to learn to do was stay consistent through every single situation. Because consistency is so key when it comes to social media, it's something that I also just so grateful I was able to do. Thankfully, the orders that were coming in and pictures that were being sent in as well allowed me to stay consistent. It gave me content to post. Something that I really learned throughout this whole pandemic was that God has truly blessed me with the best Threads community. You know, sometimes I feel like I may have X amount of followers or whatever it may be, but at this time is really when people showed their support, where people really showed a sense of community and everyone uh, was supporting and purchasing during a time that I possibly thought that people wouldn't be purchasing things because they wanted to save their money because we couldn't foresee what was going to happen in the future it was the complete opposite i had an overflow of, of orders coming in and i was so grateful at the time and i still am thinking about it you guys held me accountable. That was the other thing. Whenever I wanted to go missing in action, you all showed up and you would all hit me up and, and ask if Al was okay, ask if everything was fine, ask if there was anything that they can do. And you have no idea. That really, really meant the world. And I felt like that was maybe God compelling you to check up on me and, and him showing me like, look, this is what I have blessed you with. I've blessed you with not just people who are just following you. No, they're a community. And so I'm just so thankful for that this is a god-given dream and i have known from the jump that if god gave me this idea if god gave me this dream i know he just won't leave me i know he has his hand in this i just pray that you continue to ride with us along this journey and thank you so much